I've got a new puzzle toy video. These are all of the new puzzle toys that I have purchased for the dogs over the last few weeks and gathered together. A lot of these purchases are pretty strategic. Ben wants to investigate some of these. I gotta show the people first, buddy. The dogs are actually working on one of the items right now. Um, they're these little soda pup. This is a soda pup one as well. They're these flat soda pup um, little containers and I'll put a video in so you guys can see, but I like to put things in there and freeze them so then the dogs can work those out, which is a lot of fun for them. So that's a great purchase. I'm loving that already. So this one here is another um, soda pup product and um, this one is their like honeycomb bowl. Um, this one is a good puzzle feeder. I think I'll try this one for Fen, um, but the holes here might be a little bit too deep for him. I talked about this in my puzzle bowl video that um, puzzle bowls are kind of tricky for him to actually eat the food out of. He's about to, yeah, I know you want that one. Let me show the people first. Um, so I might try this one for him, but if it doesn't work for him, I'll use it for Wrigley. And this would be good for him to just put treats in throughout the day. I could also use this as a frozen bowl as well. This one right here is by Zippy Paws. Um, this one is a ice cream bowl. And I haven't unwrapped any of these so that I could show you guys what the packaging of it actually looks like, but this one just slides out. So this is what this bowl actually ends up looking like. Um, this one will be a good one for Wrigley, maybe Fen, we'll see. He's just not wild about puzzle to, or um, difficult puzzle bowls for eating his meals out of right now. But this is again, good enrichment for him. So this one I got with the intention of utilizing for Fenway because I think it's gonna be a whole lot easier for him to be able to get the food out of. So we got a pizza from Zippy Paws. This one right here is actually Outward Hound's um, newest puzzle feeder. And the minute I saw it, I knew I wanted it. This one I think will be really good for Wrigley eating her dinner out of. It's a multi-layer spinny puzzle toy that's got these like honeycomb patterns um, in the top and then circles in the bottom and then there's a bottom layer as well um, that I think is squares. Yes, squares. And this one will also be fantastic for Fen as a puzzle toy to leave with him when I leave the house. This will be good to put treats in for him. Um, I probably will not feed him his actual dinner out of this. A little bit too hard for him, but this I intended for Wrigley. So I'm very excited about that one. But three new licky mats for Fenway. I actually prefer to fill licky mats for him. It's just easier for him to get the food out of. I still freeze it for him to work on, um, but it's still, you know, it, so it's still challenging, but it's not as challenging. With a Kong and a, even a non-frozen Kong, he's got a difficult time just getting things out of it. So I prefer licky mats for him, but my other ones were like literally falling apart. So I actually opted for the Tough Series ones that have the hard back on them. So these ones, I can't really bend them all that easily and they do have rubber grip on the bottom so they're not gonna slide around. So I opted for these ones just so they're a little bit durable and they last a little bit longer. So I got this one as well as this one right here. And I thought this one was kind of fun. Let's unpackage this one real quick. These two pieces sit a little bit lower than these ones, but this would be perfect to pour some like bone broth really, Wrigley. Fen really likes to work out like bone broth and like goat's milk and stuff like that in this, which is difficult for me to pour into something like that because it's all liquidy, but these little containers right here is perfect for something like that. So that's the reason I wanted to get that one. I have one of these already, but the larger one that we have is kind of more Wrigley size and this one is much more, much more Fen size. I think he's gonna enjoy this one. Um, he's been trying to grab it already, so I'm gonna give it to him here in a minute. Um, but this one is the Orby Tough Snoop. Um, again, we have a bigger one um, and it's more Wrigley size, but this one is a little bit more fun size. So, here you go, buddy. Do you want that? Yeah, give it. This one is another soda pup one. Um, I just took the tag off of it. This is um, just a stuffable thing. This will be good for Wrigley. I like just getting there something different after a while. It's got a whole drainage hole in the bottom. Um, but this is gonna be perfect. This will be too difficult for Fen to work on, but this will be awesome for Wrigley. Um, I'd stuff it exactly how I would stuff a Kong. 
This one I got for Fen. It's a carrot, which is adorable. Um, and the reason that I got it for him is because it has such a large hole and opening in the top. It's going to be a lot easier for him to get the food out of this. So not that this is challenging, but more difficult one for Wrigley. It's got a smaller opening in the top versus this one that has a much larger opening for Fen. That's gonna be a little bit easier for him. Um, this will also be fun for him to chew on afterwards, so that'll be good for him. This one right here is a Westpaw one. Um, this one will also be very good for Fen. You can see all the way through the middle in this one, um, which is gonna be perfect. So for Fenway, he needs something easy. This is gonna be perfect rather than, again, comparing the whole sizes here. This is much bigger. It's gonna be easier for him to get the food out of. Um, I could also stick a like bully stick in here or some other sort of chew for Wrigley to work on. So that's how I would use it for her. I'd probably stuff it with something um, for Fen and freeze that if I'm giving it to him. And again, carrot size versus the West Paw versus the soda pup. You can kind of see the difference is here. So the smaller hole is going to be harder for my dog to actually get stuff out of. And then this one, another Westpaw one, I have one identical to this. This is just easier for Fen. Um, we've got a larger opening in the top. He can get the food out of here a whole lot easier. So I already had one of these, but I wanted to get a second one just so I can always have one available. So a lot of these things, um, these stuffable things were meant for Fen because I already have a ton of Kongs and everything for Wrigley. So this one right here is one that I actually haven't seen before, but it's like a bully stick holder. So you put the bully stick down in this and it kind of grips it at the bottom and your dog has to like work it out. So it's almost like a puzzle toy for a chew, which is awesome. This would absolutely be for Wrigley, not for Fen, um, but I'm excited to try this one out. If you haven't seen my other puzzle toy videos, this is just what I'm adding to my collection. I've got a ton others in my training room downstairs that I've also made videos on. There's a lot of like roller type um, puzzle toys or more challenging type puzzle feeders that I have for Wrigley that I've showed before that are really fantastic. This one is really tailored towards my younger guy who needs easier level puzzle toys. And this is the stuff that I was kind of drawn to for his purposes for the most part. There's a few things in here um, kind of like this Outward Hound um, puzzle feeder that I specifically bought this for my older dog um, with the intentions of hopefully teaching my younger guy that it's a lot of fun to work on, but we'll kind of see. So if you want to give some of this stuff a try, definitely do so. Or if you find something in your local pet shop that looks fairly easy and you're like, let's give it a go, give it a go, because this stuff can be super fun. My two dogs are working on puzzle feeders right now, keeping them occupied while I make this video. So having a few items like this lying around your house can really help make just daily enrichment time easier for you to be able to give out to your dogs. I hope this video was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below. And if you want to learn some more enrichment type tips, come join us on Patreon. That is something that we talk about almost weekly over there. And I show a ton of other training stuff with my dogs that you don't get to see here on YouTube. So come join us over there. We'd love to have you.